Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior system administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today, we're going to take a look at some quick commands you can use to diagnose replication issues in your Active Directory environment. If you're new here, please consider subscribing uh, below and you can follow along on my brand new Instagram at ACH underscore sysadmin. Got pictures of my lab and some of the hardware and stuff that I've been uh, tinkering with. On your admin workstation, uh, this is my admin workstation lab dash UTL01. It's just my utility server. Uh, always have one of these in my environments just to, uh, you know, do things like this. Uh, it's running server 2019. We're going to right click on our start menu and open PowerShell as admin. I'll make this bigger so you can see. And then I'm going to type the command show. I'm sorry. I'm going to type the command rep admin space forward slash show repl space star and hit enter. This is going to show me the rep the incoming source replications uh, between my domain controllers. Um, so you can see I have two domain controllers in this environment, labdc02 and labdc01, and all the replications have been successful. Uh, this is a good indication that replication between my two, two domain controllers is working properly. I will show you, we're going to simulate uh, a failure. Um, so you may see something like uh, RPC server is unavailable. Um, so let's take a look at one more command before we do this, um, just so I can show you what it looks like when it's working. We're going to type the command rep admin actually you know what let me do let me clear the screen so you can see everything uh and you can clear the screen by typing cls um we'll type in rep admin space forward slash repl summary uh, which is the replication summary and this will show you if there have been any failures um within i believe it's the last five replications um, so let me jump into vmware here and we are going to shut off the network card to labdco2. So let me just show you that I can ping labdco2 right now. So right there we go. We're pinging labdco2. I'm just simula I'm just using this to simulate a uh, you know something happened to the domain controller. Just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it's just a you know quick troubleshooting step if you suspect replication issues in your environment. Um, so we're just going to come into VMware, edit settings. And then I am going to go to my network adapter here, and we're just going to disconnect it. I'm going to click OK. It's going to finish up. We're going to go back to our admin server here, and I'm going to make sure I cannot ping it. And I can't. Next, we're going to go to our control panel, and we're going to open up uh, admin tools here. Uh, you do need uh, RSAT tools installed on 2019 in order to do uh, any of these commands. Um, so we're going to open up Active Directory Sites and Services. We're going to expand it. Basically what we're doing is I'm going to force a rec replication. Uh, normally replication happens every 90 minutes I believe. Uh, we're going to force it to, to go sooner so we can see what happens uh, during failure. So we're going to expand default first site name. Um, that's all I have in this tutorial. We're going to go to labdc01 and try and force it to replicate to labdc02. So you can expand labdc01 and come over here and right click on it and click replicate now. And it should come up with an error because it can't find labdc02. This is just simulating if, if your domain controller is offline. There are other errors and things that come up, but I just wanted you to see, uh, you know, how easy it was to use this command to kind of try and draw these two commands to try and troubleshoot if you think there's a problem in your environment. There we go. Now it's errored out. Um, you can see it's, it says the RPC server is unavailable, uh, which you'll see this error in the commands we're going to run again next. I'll click OK minus or minimize those windows and come back over to our PowerShell window. I'm going to do a CLS command to clear the screen again. And we can arrow up 
and we'll do show replication. Uh, now I have a small environment. Um, if you had a big environment, you could use the errors uh, only switch. Oops, I can't spell today apparently. <laughs> um, and that would just show you any errors. It wouldn't show you everything. But we're going to do the star just to show you what I'm seeing. And so you can see it's trying to run the command against DCO2 now. You can see it was it had failed up here. And this may take a minute because it's trying to run it against DCO2, which is offline. But it should come back and have a, have a failure error. There we go. Uh, LDAP error 81 server down. So right there, there's an indication that there's a problem with DCO2. Um, let's do another clear screen and we'll show you the uh, rep admin repl summary command. And we can just arrow up. And this may take a second. Okay. So we can see that there have been a total of one fails or failures in the last uh, five replications. And, you know, the error is that the RPC server is unavailable. Um, you know, it experienced the following operational errors trying to retrieve replication information from lab DCO2. So these are all things that can give you indication that there's something wrong. Um, usually, uh, just as a kind of a, I don't know, monthly or quarterly task, I'll come in and just run these commands in an environment just to make sure there are no surprises, no errors. Um, you know, if you have a big, if you have a big environment, you know, it's, it is possible you know, you may or may not pick up on it right away. So just a good thing to uh, check once in a while. If you are not comfortable uh, running PowerShell for whatever reason, uh, Microsoft has a GUI tool, uh, AD replication status tool, uh, which basically does the same thing. Um, I'll put the link to this in the description as well. Um, and the write-up will be on my website, achubbard.com. And you can basically go in here and you know look at let's refresh the replication status um, it will show you if there are any errors and you can see that there was an error by clicking on the replication status viewer tab um, you can see what the message was and you know that gives you a, a place to start troubleshooting hopefully these commands and tools will help you diagnose uh, replication issues in your Active Directory environment. If you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing below. You can also uh, follow along on my brand new Instagram at ACH underscore sysadmin. I'll put the links in the description. I'll have a write-up with these commands on my blog site, achubbard.com.